Good morning, friends. I pray that wherever in the world you are right now, the next two minutes are a blessing to you. So you could go out or stay in and just be the blessing to the people the Lord has put around you today. So I probably spend a little more time on these moments sharing on something I've learned about Jesus or something that the Lord has done in my life um, than I probably should. Um, because last week I was reading through the greatest devotional it's called My Utmost for His Highest by Oswald Chambers. And I've probably gone through this thing about, a I don't know, two dozen times since I was in high school. And I came across this statement, which was in conjunction with um, this verse below, 1 Corinthians 9.16, Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. Um, and here's what it said. Um, I'm reading directly from it. A missionary, or a person who wishes to proclaim the gospel, is not to proclaim his own point of view, but is only to proclaim the Lamb of God. It is easier to belong to a faction that simply tells what Jesus has done for me. But Paul did not say, woe to me if I do not preach what Christ has done for me. But he said, woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. So today, I'd like to simply tell whoever is listening on what Jesus came and did when he graced the earth with his presence and lived a sinless life and died on the cross for our sins and rose again. Um, And this is what we as Christians celebrate at Christmas and Easter and hopefully every day in between. Um, But this was like, this was a game changer. (laughs) It was the game changer of game changers uh, for us because Jesus, because of what he'd done, then then offered to pay our debt of sin. Um, And somehow at the end of our lives here on earth, then present us blameless to God. so that we can spend eternity with him. And I'd say, remember this as you go out today, but honestly, um, we should remember this every day as we go out um, because this love that he showed us is revolutionary. And if we remember this, right, if we meditate on this, if we remind ourselves of what he actually did for us, um, it will change us, it will transform us into a blessing to everybody we encounter. Until next time, Katie.